Four competitors think they have what it takes to be the chopped champion. I am a self-taught chef, but I've come a long way. I've worked really hard, family's worked really hard, and I've got the talent. I've got what it takes to win. I am very humbled by life because I shouldn't be here today. And the fact that I'm in this competition fills my heart with such pride. And I'm looking to push myself farther than I have before. Rafael just put his pasta down. He's waiting on top of it so it doesn't overcook. And the other chef right next to him, Dennis, has had his pasta in for like nine minutes. Welcome, chefs. Here are the rules. There are three rounds, appetizer, entree, and dessert. Each course in the meal comes with its own basket of mystery ingredients. You must use every ingredient in the basket in some way. If your dish doesn't cut it, you will be chopped. Chefs, please open your baskets. And for the appetizer course, we have udon noodles, watermelon radish, razor clams, and pickled eggplant. Exactly 20 minutes on the clock. Time starts now. When I lock this basket, they know already what I'm supposed to do. This what I want to call exotic caponata in salata. Caponata in Italian, it's like French ratatouille, salted vegetables. I'm here to win. I'm not a five-star chef, but I know how to cook. Watermelon radish, I love them. They're one of the common things in, in the Finger Lakes. Pickled eggplant, it's not something that I would work with. I'd work with only fresh eggplant. I'm going to make a warm udon salad. I'm from Barbados, and being from the islands influenced my style of cooking. We use a lot of seafood. So cooking clams is in my blood. I'm going to saute the clams, the julienne of radish, and the pickled eggplant all together. In my business, I like doing pasta salads. But do I do it hot? Do I do it cold? I think I'm going to go with the cold aspect and do a salad with the watermelon radish and the pickled eggplants and take the razor clams and put them on top. Now look at everybody else, and they're done. So I'm like, oh my god, I forgot my plates. And I think I've got a minute left. Well, you know, we have three chefs that are done plating, and then we have the last chef, Christopher, putting the finishing touches on his dish right now. I have to take kid gloves with these clams because they're beautiful, and I don't want to break the shells, and I just I want them to be done perfectly. And five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Please step back. Chef Christopher, what have we here? Today I made a udon noodle with pickled eggplant, watermelon radish, vinaigrette. On top is honey and Dijon poached razor clam. Chef Deborah. Today I made for you a warm udon pasta salad with pickled eggplant, watermelon radishes, and sauteed clams. Next we go to Chef Dennis. Today I made a warm udon noodles with razor clams and a spicy Asian sweet chili sauce. Chef Raffaele. Hey, I make a warm caponata salatina with razor clams in white wine. I had some calamat olives finished with extra virgin olive oil. So, whose dish is on the chopping block? Chef Dennis, you've been chopped. Dennis, we especially love the way you, you cook your clam and clean it. However, the noodles were overcooked, and the spice level, while we all agreed this dish needed spice, for us, we felt you went, no pun intended, way overboard. And that's the reason why today we had to chop you. Congratulations, Chef Christopher, Chef Deborah, Chef Raffaele. Please open your baskets for the entree course. And we have sweet vermouth. It's beautiful. Leeks. French fingerling potatoes, and live diver scallops. You will have 30 minutes for this round. Time starts now. Scallops love flavor. So I make fancier scallops in vermouth reduction with leeks pesto. No grit this time. No grit. 
I cook because I like to eat. It's a wine. I'm like, great. Almost every dish that I make has wine in it. That's a real comfort zone for me. So I'm going to do a sauce for the scallops with the sweet vermouth and use cream with it. What I plan on doing this meal is pen seared diver scallops with fingerling potatoes thinly sliced on the bottom. After the first round, the judges are like, use the time that you have. So this round is going to be above and beyond. I'm thinking about what the judges are saying, taking it up a notch. And by herb crossing these scallops, I think I've got it. Chefs, this is your two minute warning. As I'm running out of time, I'm trying to get everything on the plate. The shell's moving around, and I'm like, this isn't my best work at all. And six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Please step back. What'd you come up with, Chef Deborah? I prepared for you today herbed coated scallops on a bed of blanched romaine and French fingerlings with a sauce of leeks, vermouth, bacon, and heavy cream. Chef Raffaele. My dish I'm gonna call fancier sea scallops with French fingerling potato and finish with vermouth, leeks, and mascarpone pesto. And finally, Chef Christopher. I did um, pan seared diver scallops served over a sauce of andouille sausage, arugula, and cream. So, whose dish is on the chopping block? <laughs> Chef Deborah, you've been chopped. Chef Deborah, although we really liked the fact that you herb crusted the scallops, we felt that the wilted lettuce was very bland and didn't seem to have a purpose on this dish whatsoever. So we felt we had to chop you. Thank you for this opportunity. All that you have done so far in this competition, Chef Raffaele, Chef Christopher, has been leading up to this, the final round, dessert. Please open your baskets. And you must use Thai basil, marinated cipollini onions, black Oxford apples, rolled oats, 30 minutes on the clock. Time starts now. I love baking because it's one of my non-chemical therapies. It's my escape. And one of my favorite things to make is a lemon lavender biscotti. So why can't I take a Thai basil and put that into a cookie? But there's also oats in there, so why don't we do it like an oatmeal raisin and use the cipollinis as opposed to the raisins? Putting three ingredients into one menu item in this competition is very risky. But let's just hope it turns out. This apple, it's uh, acid, you need the sugar. You know, enjoy eating the apple raw. The first things I have to do, I have to saute the apples with brown sugar. I go make apple with oatmeal and uh, cipolline al orange. I'm using my time and finishing up the soup. One minute left, chefs. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. These cookies are a make or break for me. Whatever comes out of that oven is what I'm going to have to work with. And five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Please step back. Chef Raffaele. All right, it's a salted apple with fresh ricotta and vanilla and uh, cipollina sate. And to our next dessert, Chef Christopher. For my sweet ending to uh, today, I did a black Oxford apple and blueberry soup, accompanied by a cipollini and Thai basil oat cookie. So, whose dish is on the chopping block? Chef Raffaele, you've been chopped. Chef Raffaele, we really appreciate your simple and straightforward way of cooking. It really reflects your background, and we are just really taken by that. But just through the progression of your meal, we found a lot of flaws, so we had to chop you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. And that means, Chef Christopher, that you are the chopped champion. <laughs> oh, my God.